when this first came out, I mean, I think all of us were nervous that this was going to be the starting quarterback and the starting point guard on men's basketball and on football. And, that, and the rest was going to be, that was going to be kind of it, right? Well, what we found is that female athletes are getting a ton of deals, a ton of deals. And so at TCU, in full transparency, our deals right now look like about 60% are male, about 40% female. Now, unfortunately, and so that makes me feel really good because I think a lot of well-deserved, uh, deserving student athletes are getting these types of deals. I think the the money is really more weighted on the male side, and, and hopefully, you know, we'll see we'll, we'll see that get, balance out as, as NIL starts to kind of settle in, and I'll, I'll speak more about that in a moment. Um, but you know, they're coming in now, and they're looking at this is really a chance to monetize their talent. And there are some kids that are really um, motivated by this, and this is. They're looking at schools that set up resources that are help that are going to be helpful to them to secure more, um, more deals and secure more deal flow and potentially more revenue. And there's some that's not as important, but I think um, just about in every single recruiting conversation, especially in kind of your big six sports, which, which are your football, basketballs, baseball, soccer, and volleyball. Those are the sports that you know are televised. Um, NIL comes up, and it's what are what are the current student athletes receiving. What are the opportunities? You know, are there are there businesses or donors that are you know kind of extra motivated to help student athletes there? And and so those are um, those are things that coaches are having to be prepared for.